What's going on, everyone? It's Rich Lux, and I'm here with Teresa Romer. You Teresa who? Teresa Boom Boom. Teresa Romer. Boom Boom Romer, <laughs> and you won't believe the drama. All right. Oh my gosh, you just hit 100,000 subscribers. Can you believe it? And I just want to tell you, congratulations. Oh my god. How does that feel? It's because of you. No, no. You know what? Yes, I may have dibble dabbled in there to help you push you. I owe it all to Rich Lux. <laughs> I want to owe it to Rich Lux. <laughs> We're going to talk about it in a minute. You like, know when you win your Emmy? Yeah. You have to thank somebody. Yeah. I want to so. thank all the little people. <laughs> so I'm thanking Rich Lux. Yeah. <laughs> so like, okay, there's people out there who were at where you were at with 30K and want to hit a where, Why do you keep going to 30K? I think that's where I met you was at 30K, no? Okay, well, that's pro around there. 20K. I, 20K. No, it was 20K. Because remember, Fabulous came to work and he gave me the two and the zero and the K and the balloon. Yes, yes. So we'd already collaborated then. Okay. So it was before 20K. Wow. Okay. But, I mean, it's not on me. I mean, other people were involved too. I know. But you had the endurance to keep posting. Yeah. And you had a schedule. Like, people know. Because okay, I'm competitive. Yeah, well, very that. But I feel like you used to do the whole numbers game and like the subscriptions when you used to have a jam and business, stuff. Business, yeah. Yeah, and like, business, you're always you gotta, up against yourself. You got to yeah. see who's like coming in, who's not, and like stuff like that. I think it was more fun. Like, it, it gave you something like, oh, you know what? I have a challenge. I want to hit 100K. Now that you have it, what's your next goal? 500? Million. A million. Million. The road to <laughs> 1 million. No, but. Don't do you, think small. Do not think small. Because, I'm, because I feel even. I like thought you would never hit it. I feel like you're like, oh, I'm never going to. I didn't think I was never gonna hit it. I knew I would hit it. I just didn't know when when I started. Yeah. But then when you know, as a business person, this yeah. is how I am. I look at numbers, I look at strategies. One day I would look at it and go, okay, this this video is not doing as good. Okay, that tells me something. Okay. Oh, this video yes. is doing better. Okay. And so then I started trigging and six months ago, literally six months ago, it was the first of January. Yeah. Well, it's almost eight months now. Yeah. I literally said to Mr. Fatless, I'm going to hit hundred K by the end of July. He said how do you figure that out? <laughs> and I'm just like, because I'm doing my predictions and I'm looking at the strategies and I'm looking at my numbers and I'm looking at how I'm posting and I'm just calculating everything and I think it's gonna happen the end of July. I think what's smart that you did is that you found what people wanted to watch from you. Mm -hmm. A lot of people think they like they want to do YouTube but they don't know what to do. And you were just doing you living Well, your and life. I get, I, and don't you get asked that all the time? And like, don't people reach out oh to you? God. Oh, I want to start a YouTube channel but I don't know what to do. I don't know what to, what to talk about, yeah. yeah. You were just doing you and then one day we had dinner and she was like, you know, I was sitting at Home Rich and I was wondering that the word shopping, they click on shopping Shopping, and then all her titles have like titles have like shopping in there. Yep. So they watch her for shopping. Well, I not, feel like not just shopping, but, but you know they will go click. You know, one of the most sought after videos all the time is Motivational Mondays. Mm -hmm. Always, they always say, "Oh my God, your Motivational Mondays have changed my life." Oh yeah. my God, you don't understand what you've done. And now we're sitting here with all these Birkins. Mm. Yeah, because no one's. I feel like no one's ever seen your whole entire Birkin collection. I feel, she has more. <laughs> This is, all, this is all we could bring up. Th this is the one sitting on his lap right now. <laughs> 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 this one's super, the super rare. <laughs> I know people are like, why ain't shut up and get to the Birkin? This is why I clicked on it. Okay, so I, so are you an Hermes girl? I can literally put you girl? inside this, you know that. Oh yeah, maybe like my leg. <laughs> <laughs> it's, do, wait, have you traveled with all this the one? Newspaper. Yes. What is this one called? Is it Hermes Travel or something? It's a travel bag. Yeah, it's a travel bag. It's Hermes yeah. Travel bag. I have two of them. Those brown. The brown one and the black one. Yeah. Oh, so but heavy. you know what the problem is? Is I get so accustomed to having a travel yeah. luggage with me that's on rollers. Mm -hmm. These are not on rollers. Oh. So by the time you pack them full of something, oh my, because it's oh already my, heavy. It's already it's heavy. heavy. Now you put everything used. in that that you would put in a roller bag, and yeah. you're, it literally drags your arm off through the uh, through the airport. It's kind of hard to be glamorous. <laughs> Long Literally, you gotta like stick one thing in there and walk, and then it's, it's just stupid. So, so our goal for this video is we're gonna just sh like show off the Birkins because I think a lot of people want to see them. But before we get to that, I want to talk to you about this. Okay, my new collaboration Yay! with Gerard Cosmetics. Yes. And um, oh my gosh, Ooh. I came to her beauty room, Ooh. her million dollar beauty room, which that video will be linked down below. You can check it out. <laughs> which one do you like the best? So the heck, oh, it's a dream tickle. Here it is, right here. It's a refresher. <gasps> okay, I'm a misty. Ready? Yes. Okay, here it goes. Ready? So there you go, guys. Mm, it smells so good. I want to lick myself. Good. Lick myself. So guys, if you're interested, <laughs> <laughs> if you're interested in setting sprays, the mm. link will be down below. And it was important for me to like design the box that way everyone gets a PR package. They feel like they're getting PR, so everyone gets this entire box. And then when you're done, it's all about sustainability. And look, why would you ever throw it away? Rich Lux signed it. Yeah, it's my little autograph right there. Yeah. Hello, like this is worth millions. Yeah, if not billions. <laughs> And so like when you're done with Someday it. Someday when you're hard and you're like broke, you go, hey, hey, <laughs> you I'm going to sell this. You it's got rich Lexus. You take it to the pawn shop and you'll see what they'll give you, right? Okay. No, it's serious. 
I swear you can sell things that people have signed. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Hang on to it, guys. Hang on to it. 20 years know. from now, you'll yeah. know what it's Well, worth. the box is limited edition, but not the spray. So this box. is what's worth all the money right here. Yeah. Right here. So if you want to get this set, from now, you, you you're can. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So all about sustainability. Rich so when Lux, you're done. Rich Lux will be in house just like oh, this. Oh, man. And his, be amazing. and his signature will be worth millions. <laughs> you heard it here first. So in here, you can put like your brushes, your beauty blenders, and what, lip, lipstick. So you can just like, oh, you don't throw it away. Just beauty stuff? Well, you can put condoms and stuff in there too <laughs> if you want it to. Yeah, but yeah, so my travel. That, it's all about sustainability. So yeah, awesome setting yes. sprays. So the link will be down below for that. Okay, so let's talk about how did you get into this? Like, did you just like, I, here's what amazes me, right? So you just were like, oh, I want a Birkin. No. Like, was it a girlfriend that was like, girl, this is a good bag? Like, no, I like, saw a woman. To no, the I, I, no, I literally, I had, I had never seen one. Okay. And literally I saw a woman walking with one one day and I was like, what is that? <laughs> I've never seen that person. How before. old, like, how do you think you were like? In my 20s. In your, okay. Yeah. You see how observant she was back in the day? She didn't know what it was, but she knew it was something. No, I knew it was a, a I knew it was a purse of some yeah. kind, you know, but yeah. And yeah, so right. I saw one and I was like, what in the world? So I got online and I started Googling and sure enough, and that's how old I am. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Yes. And so you bought one. I bought one. But let's talk about- They're so expensive. Let's, no, no, I, I think people know that. I'll put this to the side, we'll grab another one. But let's talk about how it's not just a bag. Talk about how- It's an investment. It's an investment. It's a lot investment. of people do not know that. Yeah. It's just like the artwork in my house. You know, I invest money for artwork because it continues to gain value and so do the person. Oh yeah, you have some really good pieces down mm -hmm. there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's kind of like that. You just kind of know like, you know, let me invest in artwork. Let me invest in well, quality Well, and bags. like you've already started your investments with Louis Vuitton. Oh my God, yeah. yeah. I try to get those rare pieces mm -hmm. or pieces I know that are so hot right. that I could sell and I know that will like either bring me back my money back or more. Yeah. Or if I lose, I'm like losing maybe a couple hundred bucks. So someday when Rich Lux is on, you know. When I'm on QVC or oh. something. <laughs> Homeless row. <laughs> You'll be like, oh, I can sell my Louis Vuitton. Homeless <laughs> row. Oh my god. I'm just oh kidding because you know he's never going to be on homeless row. I hope not. He's going to be in a house. Not on a Birkin. I never on homeless <laughs> row. But he's going to be in a house just like this someday, and his signature is going to be worth millions. I don't think you understand how fabulous people you are. You're in it. In it. Like you walk down Rodeo Drive, people notice you like that. Right. Like it's very that. Like you just you just live your life every day. Right. But so many when I meet people at events, they're like, oh, you know Teresa Romer. She's so fabulous. I want to meet her. They're like, I sent her a DM. She hasn't read it because you get so many. And I'm like, she's booked. Uh, no, she's I booked. read every, and that's the other thing. And that's what people are commenting now. They're like, oh my God, I can't believe you respond to every DM. And so I was doing a, I was actually doing a With photo shoot. With the heart. Shoot. I, was actually doing, I was actually doing a photo shoot the other day. And the people that were here, because I kept trying to answer my phone. And I had like a couple hundred DMs at that time. Yeah. And I said, don't worry. Before I go to bed tonight, I will answer every single one of these DMs. Wow. And today I have answered every single DM. God, and right now, phone. you know, right now we're having that Louis Vuitton giveaway and so oh, like yeah. i'm getting flooded oh and they're like please, please yeah please. you know they're spamming me and everything yeah. so it's it, but it's hard it's hard to keep up with it how but do you, i do how do you manage that like that's insane because i i've made it a vow that i know there's so many people out there that don't respond to dms yeah and i'm not going to be one of those people i'm so bad for you saying that now because they're really going to no, send you dms no, I'm just, <laughs> no hey, I'm oh, it's I'm so hard. that's like getting a bunch of fan mail and never you know going to your mailbox and there's 500 fan letters there and you're not going to read any of them yeah and respond or anything that's insane but i feel like you're so busy in book doesn't you know? matter because back in the day you have to remember back in the day before there was internet yeah when some of these famous people were famous still are mm -hmm. and they would get fan mail the only way they could keep their fans was by responding back to them yeah and now oh, people have gotten yeah. to a point with the internet they're like oh screw it i got five thousand dms i don't care well those are your fans and what happens oh, is you let it just build up build up build up to, to the point where it's so many you just can't respond anymore you just kind of like, and you just yeah. blow them off and i'm like no that to me that's a fan letter like just like i get fan letters in the mail right now mm -hmm. i got one from estonia the other day a little 13 year old girl from estonia she took the time to draw my little house and put the birkins in the <laughs> oh my god she drew everything oh my god i got right back no, to her you're known for birkins like i feel yeah. like people like when they think like I don't know, because I feel like if you own a lot, I think one of the most, you're the most biggest oh, collector. Oh, I think Jeffree Star's got to yes, be. but in Texas, you know? Just like I can say I have most La Louis Vuitton within my block. Like, I kind of narrow it down. You know, I kind of narrow it down. In my building. Yeah, I should, yeah my, in my building, yeah. 
But, but you know what? I don't. I don't want to be known to have the biggest Birkin collection. That's not my. You have a lot. No, I have a lot, but I don't. That's not. I don't want to be known for that. Yeah. Well, do you know? Like, do you know what a Birkin regularly costs and how much it would be if you hold on to it and sell? It depends. Yeah. Because some of them gain value faster than other ones. Oh really? Oh yeah. Oh. That's like artwork. You know, just because you have a certain piece of art hanging there doesn't mean it's gaining as much value as that art piece over there. Yeah. No, you're right. So enough about my Birkins. You know. <laughs> <laughs> we could talk about Birkins all day long and I'd never get tired of it, but I want to know how you spent your birthday because I didn't okay. get to be with you on your birthday. It was so insane. I spent my birthday working. I shot a video that of day. Of course. Don't yeah, I was, I was in LA. I don't know. We, I don't even remember what I was doing. It was like work, 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 work. But then my mom- Well, your setting spray launched that day. It launched. Oh, I have spent it promoting yes. the setting spray. See, I remember and, and what I you were doing think, that day. I didn't think I didn't think of it as my birthday. I just thought of it like another working day. Yeah. And I remember people around me, like Nick and Dustin, were like, what do you want to do for your birthday? And I'm just like, let's go to Pump. You ever been to Pump? Yep. Pump yeah. is a really good restaurant in, in LA. It's so, I like it. Shitty bathrooms, but <laughs> great, great restaurant. <laughs> my mom my mom messaged me and she was like, hey, I want to come see you. You know, I thought you were going to be here for your birthday. So I flew her out. Oh, that's and so sweet. she said that she was crying on the plane because I flew her first class. Oh my God. And she's God. never been first class. See? But she was like, this is so amazing that you're able to fly me and take care of me. See? And I put her into the hotel room and we actually spent, I think, two or three days together. I saw you. She was in yeah. love with the weather. Yeah. And I got emotional. I was like, man, my mom's here. And I, I work so much, I hardly wanted to see her that much. Mm -hmm. And so we had dinner at Pump and went to, to BeautyCon. So you she, were a thoughtful son. Mm -hmm. the, the good part was when we were at BeautyCon, she got to see like the Your line. world. She got to see my world. Yeah. She got to see the meet and greet yeah. line. She got to see like my face with the Hank Henry booth. She got to see a study spray and people were like, sugar, oh my God. And wasn't this year your, or I, I remember DragCon, it was at Hank and Henry, but this yeah. time it was at- Crem uh, Shop. The Crem Shop. Yeah, and that was totally yeah. last minute. I wanted to meet the fans and I asked them if I could and they said yes, I would love to have you. Mm -hmm. So it was kind of like, there wasn't nothing planned, like weeks in advance, like I just showed up. Right. I let people know within less than 24 hours. I was gonna say, I saw it 24 yeah. hours, yeah. Less than 24 hours, and they had a line, a little line. And she got to see all that and, and she was taking pictures of everything. Aww. And it just meant a lot to me. So I think I spent my birthday like one of the best ever. And you weren't there, and I missed it. I was like, Teresa should have been here. Oh, no. Yeah. But you know what? For your birthday, I want to be able to give you one of these. <gasps> no, wait, wait, wait. A tricolor. Yes. A tricolor Birkin. No, yes, Teresa. Yes. Thank you. <laughs> Check it out. So I got my very first Birkin. Yes. Is this happening? Yes. What? So Teresa DeRoma just gave mm. me my first Birkin. Yes. Whoa. Treasure that baby. Mm. <gasps> Don't look at the tissue inside. I won't pawn it. <laughs> I better I not. I won't pawn you it. Because not. sometimes you just gotta pay the rent, man. <laughs> and some bags you gotta sell to pay the rent. I think this one pays the rent. <laughs> <laughs> well, guys, look how generous Teresa was mm. to give me. I mean, look how blessed you are to be able to do that. So I just think thank you a lot. You're so, welcome. I love you, mm. guys. If you enjoyed this video, smash that like button, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys. Take out her channel. Oh, yeah, I love right. you guys. Bye.